If we'd been on a cruise, this would have been the highlight of our day, and yet it's on our doorstep in England, and we've never been here before. The Talbot family were blessed with wealth, but they used it in a great way to benefit society. They were all well educated, their studies included science and biology, and Fox Talbot was key in the invention of photography. Doesn't this just feel like a square that would have been full of dogs and horses, ready to start a hunt in years gone by? Whilst there is the Fox Talbot Photographic Museum, which I strongly recommend you visit, we felt that the filming of other people's photos wouldn't be right, so you'll just have to go and visit yourself. There are many fascinating exhibits. Laycock Abbey was founded in the early 13th century by Ella, Countess of Salisbury, as a nunnery of the Augustine order. You enter the abbey through the cloisters, and these were used in the filming of Harry Potter, and there is lots of Harry Potter memorabilia for fans of the films. The house became the home of Henry Fox Talbot. The story of how the house became a home and was passed down through the generations is tastefully displayed as you walk through the rooms. The last owner was Matilda Talbot and she gifted it to the National Trust to ensure its upkeep. The statues are made of terracotta. When building was complete, the Talbots held a huge party for local dignitaries. Everyone who turned up was guaranteed to have their family's shield displayed on the ceiling. Laycock can be seen on the same day as a visit to Castle Coombe. They're about 20 minutes apart. If you love gardens, Check out our film on the gardens of Madeira. This is a healing garden. It's easy to see why filmmakers come here and negotiate with the people of Laycock to make movies here. St Syriac's Church in Laycock has been a centre of worship since Norman and possibly Saxon times. Please share your favourite Doris Cruz videos with other people who enjoy visiting fascinating places all over the world. If you love a great thriller with some pumping action and twists and turns that keep you wanting to go on to the next page, then Cruise Ship Heist is probably the book for you. And it happens on a cruise ship. My name's Stuart St. Paul. I've been a director, I've written lots of screenplays, but this is my first novel. And it all takes place 
on a cruise ship. This is the kind of view that every cruiser is used to, leaving a port. Well, in this book, they leave a port, but with millions of pounds on board that isn't theirs. And that's where it all starts to go wrong. Cruise ship heist.